My name is Sandra Edwards. This is part two of the YouTube called Fraud Department of Labor 2552. Um, in December, I was um, reinstated back to the United States OWCP Department of Labor after being terminated uh, behind a claims examiner sending me for a second opinion with a diagnosis that was 35 years old. Um, I received a letter in February after I had been reinstated in December telling me that I had to make a decision between OWCP and VA uh, because of dual compensation. I had not had a chance to recover mentally, emotionally, or uh, any of my life after being terminated uh, last May of 2011 and reinstated in December and living homeless in a hotel for all of that time. They knew I had just moved into a home January the 12th and in less than six weeks after that, they sent me a letter concerning dual compensation. I have been threatened by Mr. Arthur Adams, who is a supervisor, um, in November when I was reinstated because he was angry that I was reinstated and he told me that they weren't going to pay me at that time because he and other claims examiners were going to look for symptoms in my medical records to see if I had dual compensation which none of these employees are trained psychiatrists or psychologists um, and legally have no right to look in my medical information and make any medical assumptions about me whatsoever. I am a patient who has been under care for 37 years of my life. And um, the doctor who they sent me to uh, in Atlanta, Georgia for a 30 minute examination. Uh, his name is Dr. Michael Pruden and there is also a video on the YouTube about him as well. Um, the, I contacted OWCP, Mr. Darrell Parker, who is my claims examiner, and I informed him that I was uh, contacting the VA, letting them know what had happened um, because I did not feel comfortable signing anything um, under duress without fully understanding what I was signing. And because my disability is mental, I felt like I was being coerced to sign something without completely being allowed to um, have the help of the Veterans Administration. I went to uh, Senator Richard Shelby in Alabama and requested their help. Um, they in turn contacted the Veterans Administration. Here is a letter date, dated April the 30th, 2012 from the Department of Veterans Affairs um, stating that they were going to look into this matter. However, uh, this is also a letter from my doctor that I am seeing stating that uh, I was currently under her care, what my disability is, and that the, the experience is causing me extreme distress and acerbation of my psychiatric condition. Um, and also stated at this time, I recommend that Ms. Edwards not be required to make any legal or financial decisions that will significantly impact her life due to her reduced level of functioning because of her psychiatric disorders. However, Mr. Parker totally uh, disregarded this letter from my doctor. I also wrote him a letter and told him how I was dealing with also physical uh, issues. He has ignored uh, the letter from the senator's office, um, even letting me know that uh, and letting them know that the VA is doing their investigation. They did not allow uh, the VA ample time to even respond to the issue. They just got the records, uh, my administrative records, which here they are. Uh, they gave me a copy and in the midst of these records, where all of these documentations uh, coming from the Department of Labor, going to the Veterans Administration uh, in 1992 and 93. 
Um, there was uh, on my rating from the VA in 1993. They are saying that it is dual compensation because um, one of the symptoms um, were used from uh, the workman's comp doctor. Um, even though in the um, when I got the 50 percent, there was an entire paragraph showing a constant communication between OWCP and the Veterans Administration, so they were aware of of everything at that time. Now, the Dual Compensation Act came into place in 1973, 20 years before I was given 100% in 1993. And when that the OWCP and the Veterans Administration discussed uh, my my case in 1993, if it were an issue, why was it not brought to my attention at that time? But obviously, it was not an issue. It did not become an issue until Mr. Arthur Adams became angry because. I revealed that he had sent me another veteran's medical information by mistake from OWCP. And because I did not send it back to him, he has been on a tangent to retaliate against me. Um, everyone who has looked at this case, including people at the VA, feel like this is some sort of retaliation. Um, and in my opinion, it is worse than retaliation. It is a uh, cruel um, and unconscionable abuse of a mental patient. I'm not certain whether Mr. P Mr. Adams and Mr. Parker would like to see me commit suicide. I'm not sure exactly what, what it is they want from me. Um, so I had moved into my home in January. When I got the letter in February, I knew uh, Mr. Adams was still wanting to play games with a mental patient. It takes all kinds of things to make people feel important. So when I got this letter, I made up my mind then to move and reconstruct my life to strictly live out of the VA because I could no longer depend on them because of the, um, the constant harassment from Mr. Parker and Mr. Adams. So I moved out of my place May 4th and I have found another place and um, so that my life will not have to be like it was before and I won't have to be homeless while I fight this battle. Um, Mr. Mr. Adams and Mr. Parker have been um, constantly uh, harassing me now for exactly one year. It was exactly one year ago today that um, I was terminated. Um, the first time I was terminated because uh, they had sent the doctor uh, in Atlanta a diagnosis that was 35 years old to do a second opinion evaluation on me, then denied me copies of the medical information, um, but the Veterans Administration helped me to get a copy of all of that. So now they have terminated my disability again because I did not send in the form on April the 3rd. Uh, even though my doctor uh, April 30th, I mean May 3rd, I'm sorry, even though my doctor on April 30th uh, contacted them and let them know that I could not sign this form under duress, even though the senator's office on the 30th of uh, uh, May 8th had um, sent me a letter where they had contacted the VA on May 30th, um, the OWCP involved the Veterans Administration, however, were not willing to give the Veterans Administration ample time to get my records from St. Louis, which they finally just got them, um, and so that they can investigate and do an investigation. This is just an ongoing um, um, situation between Mr. Adams and I. This is not professional. This is personal. Mr. Adams has spent too much time on one employee, and I'm sure that there are thousands of employees under OWCP who don't get this personal attention. Um, even though I am a mental patient in my own way, I feel sorry for Mr. Adams and Mr. Parker because in my whole life, 
I never once picked on a child that was mentally incompetent or or anyone who was not able to fend for themselves mentally in, in most respects. And I don't think it would take that to make me feel like a big person. Um, and and it's I feel sorry for them that that it takes you know, hours of their time to figure out all of these things to constantly keep my life uh, turned upside down. I am not sure if this is racism or if it is just blatant discrimination because I am, uh, I have a mental disability. I have never met either one of them, but they do know I'm black and they do know I have a mental disorder. So, I cannot really figure out which one of the two is the problem, all other than the fact that I exposed Mr. Adams for uh, violating the HIPAA law. Um, and I am somehow being held responsible for uh, his mistake. So um, at this time, um, I will conclude by saying um, their accusation is that I have under dual compensation. The dual compensation law came into effect in 1973. I was given, uh, uh, awarded 100% disability in 1993, 20 years later, and 20 years from that date, they are saying that now it is an issue. Is it an issue or is this just you know, the threat that was made to me in November of 2011 by Mr. Arthur Adams. Um, I'm also asking that you look at the videos, Fraud Department of Labor, and the video called Dr. Michael Pruden of Atlanta. This is ongoing harassment and abuse by a government agency that is supposed to be there to protect injured workers. Um, I am asking that whoever looks at this video, please contact the director of the Department of Labor in Washington, D.C. Please email Ms. Obama, who works with veterans. Please contact your local congressman who deals with veterans and have them write a letter uh, to the Department of Labor in Washington, D.C. on my behalf. Um, I am asking all veterans to also contact uh, your local news stations and have them to look at those videos on my behalf. Um, I have been terminated without uh, the VA fully having an opportunity to investigate and being coerced to sign documentations that could affect the rest of my life without a full investigation. Thank you.